I had gone to school at the Independent Producers Association in 1973, which was then run by Lawrence Merrick, the producer and director of the documentary Manson. I worked on post-production on Manson and helped in the sound department where Merrick had Manson's voice altered because he felt that Manson's voice was too high-pitched and somewhat effeminate. I left Merrick in 1975 and went to work for the city of Santa Monica where I was in charge of the Santa Monica Pier parking lot. Merrick later became involved in a dispute with the cinematographer Robert Hendrickson over production credits. Hendrickson claimed that he was promised associate producer credit by Merrick. Merrick instead gave Hendrickson production manager credit, which Hendrickson refused and then sued Merrick. Hendrickson won his suit against Merrick, who surrendered the rights to the film rather than pay Hendrickson any money. Manson was nominated for Best Documentary in the Academy Awards of 1973, but lost out because of the controversy over ownership. I left Merrick in 1974, appeared in two films in 1975, and was associate producer on a low-budget Western spoof, Mule Feathers, starring Rory Calhoun and featuring the voice of Don Knotts as Calhoun's larcenous mule. I received a congratulatory letter from Merrick in 1976 for my production credit on Mule Feathers. I was informed by a member of his staff that Merrick had been murdered outside his office by a young white guy who had hung around his office on January 26th and shot him outside of his office. My name is Ross Hawkins, and I am the producer of Fred Parrish, the man behind the camera.